Hello and welcome to our 2K Sports PGA Tour action. We're at the Genesis Invitational. Today's coverage is just about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey with Rich Beam in the booth and we've got John McCarthy down on the course. Hi Luke, great to be here. Looking forward to bringing you guys the action from my perspective. Can't wait to see what happens at the end of this one. Nicely done. Second shot here on the first. Ooh, staying aggressive. Going for the green. Yeah, well, it might not be on the green, but it's right up near the surface. And here we are with the third shot. Struck. This putt coming up is for Birdie. That's half a chance of being hold this one. Oh, hello. Welcome to the course. Yeah, you gotta love seeing those go in early. Puts you in a good mood for the rest of the day. Gee, Rich, that's a positive start, isn't it? Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. Uh, big old cut, that one. Second shot on the second. for the five iron. Wow, what a shot. Birdie at the last. This for another. Let's head over to the third. And about 130 yards to the pin. Opting for the nine iron. Has got this thing dialed in here, looking good. Oh, you beauty, an eagle. Wow, what can you say? Holding it out from the fairway. Every player loves that feeling. What a shot indeed. Putting for birdie. This one started out on a good line. Some momentum being built now. That's back-to-back -back birdies. Gotta like it, two in a row. Currently a couple under for the event. This hole is a long par four. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. Well, let's catch up with this play just a moment ago. Let's take a look at Gary Woodland from earlier. Lining up for his third now. Well, that's a bonus. Mark that down on the card.
Time for the second shot into the third. Going with the 9-iron, I think. And he's not hit the mark on that approach. Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad, though. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. Oh, a lovely opportunity to save par here. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. Currently two under for the event. Par threes are always fun. See if you can knock it close. <laughs> Going with the five wood. This would be a great up and down from this spot. And he holds it. What a putt. And with that, we'll move to three under par. And let's have another look at that one. Trailing by five shots after that hole. Here we are at the fifth hole. The tee is yours. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. Just off the fairway in the first cut. Looks to be going with the six iron. Oh, wonderful shot and a chance for birdie at the fifth. And now we go to the sixth where this happened just a moment ago. This is how you do it, seven days a week. Yes! This would be a good putt to make. It'll move you inside the top 20 on the leaderboard. Just three feet to the cup. And down it goes. Now five strokes behind. The sixth hole at Riviera is one of the most famous par threes on the West Coast, Rich. An absolute beauty. It looks like a giant green donut with the bunker right in the center of the green, doesn't it? I love this hole.
opting for the five wood. Just needs this one to kick right. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. Three feet to go here to the hole. And that's their fourth birdie of the day. And with that, he'll move to four under par. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. We have a par four on this one. Didn't look like their best swing there. Yeah, this lies pretty deep here. Going with the four iron here. Four left. That's a shame. Had a chance to hit the green, but couldn't quite get there. Can't fault him there. This rough is nasty. No fault in missing the green. Par putt coming up here. Not a bad line, this. And there it is. And now four under for the day. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. And this shot here coming up from around 130 yards. Currently four shots off the pace. Yeah, that one's looking good. Well, that'll work up on the dance floor. Could have been worse. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Oh, I don't mind this par putt. Job done. Let's head to the next. Trailing by four strokes. Teeing off here at the ninth hole. Well, this one looks to be heading down the runway. This one from about 160 yards out. Four strokes off the lead. Going with the six iron here. Lovely effort, that. John, give us a small update. I'm on the 10th pole now, guys. This is Patrick Cantley's next shot. And 32 feet from the cup. Oh, absolute stunner. And that will move him to six under par. And back to the course with the live action. 
Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. Get in. That'll help your scorecard. Well hold. And with that, he'll move to five under par. Time now to make the turn for home, Rich. And uh, this is an exciting part of the championship. What are your thoughts on this performance? Three strokes down with nine to go, Luke. They're going to have to come up with something sporty to get to the top of the leaderboard at day's end. That one's right out of the top drawer. Second shot here on the 10th hole. Oh, that was pure. Seven feet to the cup. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. Gee, that's good playing. Six birdies in a round. Kind of like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. John, what's going on? Talk to us, Goose. Down on the 11th. This is Sergio Garcia setting up his next shot. Time now for the fourth shot. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Wonderfully played. Time for the second shot at the 11th. Getting ready to play their third. Just three back from the leader. That's a good looking shot there. Important part here. They make it. They're into the top five. That was a gallant attempt. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. So after that hole, this is the current standings on the course. He's currently tied for seventh. We've arrived at a par four hole. Well, this should find the short grass. Sitting at minus six and a share of seventh. Opting for the six iron. That's not the outcome they were after. And missing it long with that approach, not a good leave. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. It's on a good line. Nicely hold and for par. John, talk to us. What do you got for us? We're moving on the 13th hole. This is Patrick Cantley's next shot. And here we are with the third shot. And with that hole behind us, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. This hole is a par four, and it's a pretty lengthy one at that. Lovely rhythm there, Rich. That's going to work every time. And this from Sergio Garcia just a short while ago. I got to say, his short game is one of the best in the game. Let's return to live play now. From about 130 yards here, only a few shots off the pace.
chosen the pitching wedge here. Mm, that's right out of the copy books. Exquisite. Absolutely. In there close. Good look at Birdie coming up. What an opportunity to make a Birdie. This one has eyes for the hole. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hole. And that should secure the par. Well done. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. He's currently tied for 10th. Oh, I always love these holes. Here we have a par three. Opting for the four iron here. Ah, that one's heading out to the right. This would be a great up and down. And John, uh, how long's this putt? It seems to be a fair way. It's looking like about 23 feet to the cup. Frustrating. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. Justin Thomas is at the top of the leaderboard with a one-shot lead. Teeing off here at the 15th hole. That swing reminded me of smooth jazz. Great rhythm. Playing from around 150 yards here. And choosing the eight iron here. Well, this one's right at the pin. That's a great shot here at the 15th. It sets up a look for birdie. Almost a gimme birdie there, Luke. Fantastic. Big putt for par coming up. Okay, let's get back to the action. More chance to sneak inside top 20 in the standings here with this putt. It's tracking. And with that putt, now it's six under with a few to play. And that will take him to six under. Justin Thomas is our current leader. The 16th at Riviera Ridge is the last chance to get amongst the birdies on a par three. A breathtaking short par three, 166, an island green surrounded by bunkers. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Woo, back there, horsey. Yeah, quality shot, that. This one here, this is for back-to-back -back birdies, moving him in the right direction. This putt is to move inside the all-important top ten. That's the right pace. This should drop. A wonderful putt. You can claim it. Back-to-back -back birdies. And he'll move into the top ten. Justin Thomas is atop the leaderboard with a two-stroke lead. The last genuine scoring hole at Riviera is certainly this par 5 17th. Any hopes of getting it home in two, you better come up with something special off the tee and make sure to avoid the bunker on the right-hand side. And the effort, that one. Getting ready to play their third. Five shots off the lead. Yeah, nicely played. 20 feet to the hole.
ball. That'll help you move up the leaderboard. And that will take him to eight under. And JT is currently our leader. One of the most famous finishing holes on the PGA Tour, Rich. This 18th at Riviera is a classic. Aim for the palm trees in the distance, which are located just on the left-hand side of the green. A good tee shot there will set up an awesome-looking second. Coming off a hat-trick of birdies. That's great momentum. Going with the five iron here. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the birdie range, but you never know. Hole a long one. Still counts. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. Gets that one to go down, and that'll end the day's work. And let's have one more look at that shot. concludes our tournament and the gap between victory ends up being three rich just needed to be a little bit sharper with the irons this week overall they were good but it was less than spectacular in spots it's something they're going to need to go back and work on before the next event if they want to finish any better however finishing just three strokes back that's got to give them a lot of confidence a lot of belief in their game at the moment well, that just about concludes our coverage. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Helvey. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow.